Leos and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of March 2nd guys we made it I'm a Leo rising can you guys kind of feel the energy shift a little bit making space making way for this incredible it's almost like an excitement like even though things have come up for us emotionally perhaps some people have come back from the past to kind of just be reviewed it really is making space for something incredible I can feel it like inside kind of exciting so curious to see if you guys feel it too this is for Leo Sun Moon or rising so please be sure to check all three and if this is your first time watching me thank you if it serves you resonates helps you guides you in any way please like subscribe comment down below I really do appreciate it guys all right Leo let's get started let's take a deep breath in Deep breath out. Let's just ground out all that kind of stagnant energy. Let's do this. I'm excited. Let's get started. Getting guided to the energy of Leo for the week of March 2nd. Get a clarity card here. Okay, Leo's nine of wands, ten of cups, the lovers, four of coins, page of coins. Now we have the nine of swords. The clarity cards I got were the magician, the strength card, two of coins, and the four of cups. So right out the gate, guys, this week you're going to find yourself perhaps a little bit more feisty, but not in a negative way, Leo. You are really putting in the willpower this week. You know, when it comes to motivation, when it comes to change, when it comes to paving your own way, it really comes down to will, right? Because we can be like really like pumped up the first week and then it's like, eh. And it really is like, look it. Protect what you have created. Don't give up on yourself. Really believe in yourself. Push forward towards these dreams. This kind of reminds you right when you're at the top of the hill. Now you have the Ten of Cups and the Lovers, guys. Now when it comes to these two cards, this looks like a time of a lot of emotional stability. Finding that stasis. The Ten of Cups is that happily ever after card. There's harmony in the home, in your relationship. It's like the partner, the white picket fence, like the two and a half kids, that card. But it's really about trustworthy relationships, and you have the lover's cards on top of this. What I see for you guys is you're finally finding some kind of healthy equilibrium in your relationships. Looking at the spread in its entirety, I will say this, Leo, it looks like you guys are really embodying some very healthy changes, habits, beliefs, patterns. What I will give you is this. You have the four of coins. Don't be afraid of change, Leo. Don't be stubborn. Don't be like, this is uncomfortable, but but I feel like I should stand up or be defensive like this. I mean, it's my rising. I am not on a soapbox preaching. But what I am saying is this. You guys are stepping into this beautiful new arena of newness and growth and emotional learning and expansion. Key word being learning, words being learning and expansion. You can't stay the same if you want something different, correct? So when it comes to the page of, or the four of coins, you're saying, look, don't distract yourself from the changes that have to be made. Don't go spending money, going out eating, or on shopping, trying to like avoid the elephant in the room. No, there are some healthy foundational changes that are being made. You have the page of coins. This is great. You're in the learning process. Like, okay, I, I can do this. Codependency is not, I'm giving examples. Those are codependent habits, and now I'm recognizing that I can actually be okay this way. Or I'm being vulnerable, I'm opening up, I'm making the move first, or I'm doing this for myself. You're learning new tools, not just learning, you're putting them in action. You have the nine of swords. What I will say is this, be careful of your thoughts, Leo. This is, I mean, this is when we're scared, we're having like the worst thoughts. Like, you know what's funny? Whenever we do something new, right, our ego always comes up and it's like, see, it didn't work out. Like, let's say you had healthy boundaries. Right? Let's say you had healthy boundaries and you didn't allow someone or people to cross them. And all of a sudden, they're not texting or messaging. Your ego's going to be like, see, you pushed them away. You might have ruined it. That could have been like a lifelong thing. Stop. Just stop. Not only are we in Mercury retrograde, but we're in a Pisces new moon. Your ego's going to want to make you like, shoulda, coulda, woulda, ifs, if regrets, all that jazz, nip it. With the Nine of Swords, 99% of things you're scared of, they're not going to happen. All that's happening is sleepless nights, stress, and if anything, self-fulfilling prophecies. 
let that go. What is meant for you, people, opportunities, regardless, will not pass you. So while you're making these incredible healthy changes in relationships, in love, in life, all you have to make sure be on guard for is those un, those unhealthy ego or subconscious patterns or reactions. The clarity card here is the magician and the strength card. You're manifesting these incredible new shifts, these new healthy relationships in home, in family, in love. It could even be in work. The strength card, which as a reader for me, that tends to be my breakup card, but relax, Leo. This has a lot to do with your inner strength, your confidence, your self-love. Self-love isn't just like going to get a massage or a pedicure. That's not what this is. Self-love is saying, no, I'm not going to do that unhealthy habit. No, I'm not going to allow myself to sit and stew and, and, and you know increase my fear. No, I'm not going to send that text. No, or yes, I'm going to go to that therapy session. Yes, I'm going to give these this healthy, amazing person a chance whatever it is you have the two of coins and the four of cups do your best like I said to the four of cups is like when we get bored and we think that we missed an opportunity you didn't miss nada Leo they missed you so the two of coins is like we might feel a little overwhelmed a lot on our plate this is this is a great week please don't look at this and be like oh my god like I'm gonna feel like this Anything new is going to have a learning curve and anything worth having is going to take your effort. And you are creating deep love, soulmate relationships, healthy family, healthy home, healthy emotional life. But it is going to take your, your need to stand up, stand your ground. I think of like Lord of the Rings, like you shall not pass. Not those negative habits, not those unhealthy or toxic friends or people or partners. No, you have worked so hard to get here, Leo. And you're going to claim and keep that ground and you are manifesting all of these. It's already, if it's already here, the people that you're going to meet, the, the relationships. And if it's not, it's going to be coming in incredibly soon. But this week, you just might notice that this Mercury retrograde is going to want to pick up some of that subconscious patterning, right? Because it's things coming back around. The universe is saying, hey, you're manifesting these healthy relationships. Or do you maybe want to get back on this carousel shit show again? No. After you say, thank you, I've had enough. So no, you didn't miss out on it. All those stress worries, it's literally just fears. It's just in your mind. And while fear can feel like a very real, visceral entity, it's an illusion. It's just an illusion. So be careful of giving it too much of your time because whenever we focus on something, we manifest it. Not because that's what was meant to be, but because the universe always manifests based on our dominant energy. And your dominant energy is fear or lack or abandonment. That's what you get, right? It's kind of like when you stub your toe in the morning, you're like, shit, it's going to be a bad day. And what is it? A bad day. You guys are manifesting incredible relationships and happiness, guys. Just this week, it's really like testing the waters, walking it, saying nay, 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 yes. It was it was funny. I had a friend yesterday that gave a really great example of dating. They were kind of like, dating is like poker. When you're dealt a bad hand, you know, maybe people, coworkers that are toxic, you put those on the table and you trade them up for better cards. And you've got to understand that when something isn't working, you have to allow it to flow out or just... Let it go until you can make space for a better <laughs> better hand. I don't know. I liked it. I like poker. Anyways, I digress, Leo. This is a beautiful week of love, of happiness, of harmony. But really, you're going to be put a little bit to the test this week. Not in a bad way, but in order for you to make a decision, because you have free will more than you. I hope this serves you, Leo. If you like a more in-depth reading, a healing session, my link is down below, guys. Otherwise, have a amazing week. Congratulations on that happy new love or relationships in your life. Stay strong. Stay true to yourself. Love yourself. Know you're worth it. You deserve it. And make space for those who see that too. Okay, guys. I will see you next week for next week's readings.